let's get to this story. Y'all remember the chick that grabbed the microphone? <laughs> you know, listen, black women, y'all continue to embarrass yourselves and embarrass us. You get out here and you're great. Look at this. And, 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 and by the way, um, I believe she's an OnlyFans model, right? Doesn't surprise me. Another lazy heifer. Again, I have nothing against y'all getting OnlyFans. Get your money. It is what it is. But once again, we have another wannabe strong independent heifer that ain't making no money on her own because she on OnlyFans. I mean, black women, why do y'all always go places and embarrass us? You're either twerking on tables at restaurants, fighting in public, right? Just embarrassing. Y'all love going places and embarrassing us. But then y'all want to act like we're the bad guys, that we're the ones who are out here doing things that you don't accept. But look at this. What are you thinking? just embarrassing yourself i bet the black people there was like oh my god oh my god keisha's Ke keisha's over there look at what keisha is doing embarrassing us in this hot sun keisha's out here messing up again <laughs> y'all know they love to talk about white women being karens right but doesn't this strike you as karen like behavior this is something this is something that white women do, right? Ain't this something that y'all claim white women do? Don't white women go around acting like this? Oh no, we got a sister. We got a melanated heifer acting a complete fool. We got a heifer acting a complete fool. Yeah, you can't take them nowhere. Can't take them nowhere. I thought Karens do this. I thought only middle-aged white women do things like this. No, you melanated heifers do this all the time. Uh, let's see, according to news break, a black college graduate's mic drop moment has gone viral in a video showing her grabbing the microphone from a white educator who apparently didn't allow her to say her full name. Kadia Aman, a digital creator with an OnlyFans account and more than 18,000 followers on TikTok, is seen snatching the mic from the stunned white woman who tries in vain to keep holding it. I want the mic, let it go, you didn't let me get my moment, she said before mentioning her name to the audience gathered outside. I'm graduating today, I don't like how you snatched the mic out my hand, so today is going to be all about me. See, that's where you messed up, and that's why you don't get no sympathy from me. It's all about you. There are other people there graduating, Heffa, dummy. You ain't the only one graduating, but here you go making a complete fool of yourself for what? Because you want those white those white people to see you in your moment? They don't care about you. They see you as a loud mouth geisha. That's what they see you as. A loud mouth ghetto Keisha. The graduate clad in pink top cap and a black gown, then drops the mic and storms off. A bystander heard saying, oh, drops the mic, congratulations. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the brother in the back, like what the, what the is Keisha doing, man? Keisha doing, man? Embarrassing. Embarrassing. It wasn't immediately unclear what college she graduated from. In a separate video, she explained what happened. Basically, what happened was I was walking on and we had to say our names before we get on the stage, she says in the clip. So I was saying my name and she literally, my name is long, obviously. I have like three syllables in my name. She has a three syllable first name, oh Lord. Don't tell me my first name is three syllables. So I didn't even get to finish saying my name. And then the people that went before me, they all got to say their name, their major, even extras. Iman explained 
Me and another girl noticed that she was pulling the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, so I couldn't let her. I just couldn't let that happen, the young woman explained. I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much bleep to graduate that I just felt that I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry I'm not problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day, Amon said. The video received thousands of comments from people who offered their congratulations. Of course they did. They like when you Keisha's act out. They like when you Keisha's act crazy. That's what they like. The tussling for the mic killed me. Congrats though. Congratulations queen, but security doing nothing is killing me. Many simply wrote period. Of course, they again, black people are our, our own worst enemies. We never speak the truth. We we congratulate behavior like this. And I bet you it's nothing but a bunch of black women su supporting her because they probably do the same thing too. That's why nobody takes them seriously. Yes, three syllables in your name. That woman thought you said your first and last name. That's why she grabbed the mic back. It's, high, it's probably about 90 degrees outside and she out here you know, I don't know, man. I just think that she made a fool of herself and she should not be getting congratulated. She should be getting a reprimand. Us as black people, we got to do better. We got to do better in this. We have to start reprimanding people when they do dumb things. Because trust me, in other communities, they're not going to celebrate this. They may laugh at it, but they're not going to celebrate it because they know it makes them all look bad. Makes them all look bad, but y'all don't care because no attention is bad attention. Y'all just accept it. Even though this is going to give you a bad stigma, but y'all don't care because y'all think this is funny and y'all like, and they're, they're only, they're only celebrating it because she snatched the mic out of a white woman's hand. Now, if she would have snatched the mic out of a black woman's hand, Y'all wouldn't be celebrating it. Y'all would be mad at her, especially a lot of you black women. Y'all would be demanding an apology. But because she snatched it out of a white woman's hand, that's why y'all are celebrating it. And it makes y'all look petty and it makes y'all look clownish. Y'all look petty and clownish doing this. Absolutely. So... You know, I mean, she was able to graduate, which is a good thing, but she made a fool of herself. She probably was up there. She probably wasn't speaking very fast. She probably was. She thought that she was going to be able to stand there and have an interview. She literally thought she was going to have an interview. You were not being interviewed. They were ready to get out of there. They were ready to get out of there. I bet you was. I bet you was very hot out there. And the black people there look embarrassed. The black men look very embarrassed because again, we, we have to deal with this all the time. We got to deal with this behavior all the time. This is just, again, this is nothing like this should be celebrated. Absolutely nothing. She made a fool of herself. What's why are people celebrating this? Shout out to Saliva. This is why it's very important to reclaim who you are and be the best representative you can be. It's not acting white it's being a good representative because the only reason why she's getting support is because they feel like she snatched the mic out of the hand of a white woman. And they think that's funny. They think it's funny to snatch the mic out of the hand of a white woman. You people are, <laughs> what is that to say, man?